It's been a while since we've had the chance to talk about Day Out with Thomas. I thought I had been pushed to the brink of insanity, lost in what I could only describe to be a fever dream. Fever dream. <coughs> Alright, yeah, I'll do it, fine. Is there seriously not a single event that can make Rusty look okay? Like, what is this? Strasburg won't even put a face on him. Glenbrook, you're just wrong. You're just wrong all around. How did you make a train look like it has spine problems? East Lancashire, Lancashire? I don't know how you say it. That's actually pretty good. I'm enjoying this model. See, this Thomas isn't bad. Anymore. Why would you put the screw to secure it on the nose? Shit looks like a pimple. And they did it to James, too. Of course they did. Oh, yeah, while well, we're on this note, here's James. You know what? The other one was better. This one may have a stress pimple, but this one stresses me out. <laughs> what? Tell me who this is besides incorrect. Apologies all. This apparently is the great Marquise. It's probably Marquess or some shit like that, but no, I I'm sticking with Marquise. And he stole James's face. That was stolen from Thomas. And they couldn't even clean it when they did it. Now, it is important to keep in mind that these faces are extremely expensive to produce. They're very large and have to be made out of the same material and likely use the same mold. And that's likely why these were originally painted and why these are often the same or reused. And in real terms, that's not really the railroad's fault. They're kind of stuck doing whatever they can do with the resources that are available to them. So it's not always that they just necessarily don't care. At times, it really may be that that's just all that they have available to them. And you have to give respect to these railroads for at least trying. But what about when you just don't try at all? Can I be mad at that? Too late, I already fucking am. So this is their Donald. I call him Demon. Again, respect for trying to do the Diesel for, you know, being an obscure character. I just see Buff Toad, though. You guys remember Eric the Diesel? Or maybe Diesel's real name is Eric and this railway's trying to put us on? No, 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 wait, 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 for real, for real. Don't laugh, don't laugh, okay? Seriously. Are you ready? Here's their fucking Percy. Like, excuse me? Like, you couldn't pay me to believe that. This is Wilbert with a stomach infection. You know, it's crazy because you could literally have the old engine from the RWS books perfectly, but nah, y'all are above doing your research, right? And you probably named him some dumb shit like Bartholomew. Here's a Percy from Embassy and Bolton Abbey Steam railway because i'll definitely remember that you know what I, I don't have anything bad to say about this this is a nice percy i don't the face could be better but it could also be this percy and let's just be happy that it's not this is what the east lincolnshire railway did with their old thomas face why did the james just throw it off in a fit of rage so this is princess from the lakeside and haverthwaite railway i don't think princess is right you look more like a goomba what the Oh, motherfucker. Why, Trevor? Why? Just leave him alone. Y'all saved him from scrap just to make him live in a purgatory. Cheltenham. Or is this Henry? How about just gross? All right, I've said it once. I'm gonna say it again. UK, don't get too mad. You guys like to get emotional at these videos. I'm not coming for you guys. I'm with you. I know these events are not the easiest to pull off. But you guys also made Thomas and Friends, so please try to do a little bit better. Oh, yes, my favorite. Mavis the Mallard. Or maybe if that's not your speed, you can always go for Mavis the Class 08. Hell has options. Who would have thought? Apparently, this is a common theme. People just want to take Class 08s and put Mavis's face on it. And then takes your deepest and darkest fear and replaces it with this. Yeah, let the kids in the signal box. Boss, this kid's a natural. Let's offer him a job. Oh, really? Really? They got George too? Wait, wait, wait. This is the railway that had the James that I like. Oh, well, shoot. His face isn't on him anymore, but uh, he still looks good. Okay, it looks like they've shunted him or put him in a siding. And that's weird because he's your best model, but uh, I guess. Oh, that's just, that's just splendid. That's splendid. Imagine Imagine having a semi-decent Percy, like a pretty good looking Percy. And then you just, you know, maybe I'm being too hard on these railways. You know, truth be told, maybe we should just be happy at the fact that they're trying to even do a Day Out with Thomas event. Sure, sometimes they might be weird or just strange in how they look, but hey, at least they're trying, right? R right? That makes this okay. And I guess this too, at least they did try. All of this is just fine, right? Because at, at least they tried. Yeah, sure, but, but where did you fucking try? Real quick, I just wanted to apologize to you guys for one, taking so long to make this video, and two, of course, for the audio switching up halfway through it. The mic that I normally use decided to just stop working halfway through making this video. So I did have to resort to a different means, but I wanted to make sure I could still get this video out to you guys and actually finish it. I wish I had more to talk about when it comes to the subject of Day Out with Thomas. However, recently I would find myself in a bit of a rut and really unable to find a whole bunch of new information that I had hadn't already talked about. So while I'm not sure if I'll be making another one of these videos, if there's anything that I haven't talked about or something that you guys think I should talk about, be sure to let me know down in the comments as I don't want my content to get boring to you guys. Again, I would also like to say that I'm not trying to throw any hate or shade on these railways, and I'm especially not trying to ruin anybody's childhood. Remember, this is my childhood too. I just think it's a fair statement to say that almost everywhere could do a little bit better with their day out with Thomas events. It's never easy or cheap to repaint an entire locomotive to look like a Thomas train, and oftentimes it's not practical. So again, maybe we should be a little bit proud and happy at the fact that these railways are even trying. But it's still fuck you guys for this. You guys had one good shot.